All right, so I wanted to do a little plant profile on evergreen huckleberry. Let's get these weeds out of here. And now that I've kind of weeded this crazy jungle, we can take a look at these cool evergreen huckleberries. Let's get these guys out of here. Get out of here. All right, so what is the evergreen huckleberry? It is a native to the Northwest. It is in the Heath family, just like blueberries. Let's swing around here. It's a little bit, it's getting some, too much exposure in the light. That's not better. That's not bad. Okay, so it's in the Heath family. It has an association with mycorrhizal fungi that same as blueberries. Uh, I forget the exact name of it, but I did try to get some of it from a, a lab. Mixed it up, put it in the ground, <laughs> around the huckleberries. Let's we'll see if it actually helped. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, but evergreen huckleberries are really cool. They have these tiny little flowers on them. They make small blueberries. They have a nice, intense taste to them. And they also have an interesting adaptation. And the adaptation is that they can grow in both shade and sun, which is an unusual trait for plants, I think. Why is that? Well, most plants seems they like one or the other, or somewhere in between. Like they can do part shade, they like full sun, or they like full shade. They have their niche that they're in, and they can't really do anything otherwise. But huckleberries, the evergreen huckleberry in particular, is an unusual one in that if it's in full shade, it just grows bigger. If it's in full sun, it stays shorter. So essentially the plant can figure out how much sun it's getting and it just produces more leaves and gets larger if it doesn't get enough sun, which I think is awesome. So you can put them in a bunch of different places um, yeah, these, these sticky weeds are really going crazy over here. I was cutting them all back yesterday. So yeah, useful huckleberry plants. They can go in a lot of different niches. They can go in your shade niche, your sunny niche, and where have I planted them? Well, there's a large spruce tree here that's kind of acidifying the soil. And I've planted uh, one over here underneath the soil, or underneath the, the spruce tree. It's in some heavy wood chips. Assuming chip drop keeps giving me stuff, I'll continue piling up the wood chips to make sure that it has a good, you know, nice high amount of organic matter, because that's something that they like. Um, and then they associate with blueberry fungi, mycorrhizal fungi. They like acidic soil, just like blueberries. And then I've got another one over here. This one's in much more sun, as you can see. Um, this one's doing good too. I read online that these are actually used in, in uh, floral arrangements because the leaves have a, like an interesting shiny look to them that people like. Um, so they have a bit of an ornamental quality to them. The new leaves coming out, they have like a of a reddish color to them. They eventually turn kind of a dark green like these. They still maintain their shininess and then they also produce fruit. So nice little native edible. If I can I'm going to try and propagate them. I'd like to actually have more of these. And yeah that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me.